What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to get Call of Duty Mobile working on your Razer Kishi on Android. Uh, normally, this controller does not work. It is not compatible with uh, Call of Duty Mobile. And while I've made a workaround on how to use a second controller to connect to it so that this one is detected, um, I actually have a new fix that doesn't need a second controller at all. Special thanks to Shiro the Hero, a hero indeed in my chat, um, who commented about the program I'm going to be using. And shout out to Todd M for being a channel supporter. If you want to support this channel, click on that join button below to get video, I mean, to get credit in videos like this, or click on that thanks button to donate and support directly. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So essentially, the Razer Kishi is not compatible and it's not detected by Call of Duty Mobile. So what we're going to have to use is a program to emulate what our controller is doing. And that program is Mantis Gamepad. Um, Mantis Gamepad, let me actually record the screen so you can see this. All right, so I'm recording now. And um, on Mantis Gamepad, if I open that up right now, uh, you can see that there's actually one gamepad connected. If I click on that, it is the Razer Kishi. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to um, scroll out, but if I pull it out, it comes out. If I put it in, it says it's connected. And then we have Mantis Buddy connected. Now, the only thing about this app is you do need to install um, something to your phone. It has to be in developer mode, um, which is easy to put it into, but it, it's worth noting. Um, and then you go to Call of Duty, and it will load the game up, and say Phase 1 is now active. And the way that this works is it actually has an overlay. As you can see, I have my overlay here, um, where if we move our controls, it's going to tap on the screen in that location. So it's going to simulate a tap. So when I press um, left trigger, for example, it's going to zoom in or tap on the part of the screen that would make you ADS in Call of Duty. So it's not a replacement for a direct input, it's still gonna say that no controller is connected, but all of the inputs are gonna be translated to the exact same inputs that it would be if you um, were using the screen itself to control this. So in order to install it, essentially, you need to enable developer mode. Um, so you just have to go to your settings, uh, scroll all the way down, and um, you'll need to go to developer options. If developer options isn't there, um, you go into your about phone. This might be different on your phone. You'd you might have to look it up. You go to software information, scroll all the way down until you see build number. And then you tap on that, um, eight times and see how it says developer mode has already been turned on for me. For you, it will actually unlock after that many times. Um, you go back and you scroll down to developer options. And what you need to turn on is USB debugging. Um, USB debugging will let you plug your um, phone into your computer and it'll install the necessary packages. Um, and all you have to do is in Mantis Pro, you go to uh, connect and it'll give you different options on ways to do that. I did it via computer, uh, via Windows, and I just downloaded the program, ran it, plugged in my phone, and it worked. Um, so that's the only thing. It's sort of like a root, but not really. To an extent, um, it does need developer mode to work because it's simulating touches on your screen. That makes sense. Nothing really nefarious jumps out at me. And it works pretty well. It's not a one-to-one -one gamepad input, but I was able to get my controls pretty, pretty close to the uh, real thing. And I'll show you a little bit of gameplay and of me using the controller uh, so you can see what it looks like in-game. In so you won't be able to really see, but you can kind of see the translation. I'm recording the screen, so it should show up. So the joystick works. I can move around. I could aim, I could fire, uh, what else can I do? I could choose one of those, I could drop down, I could jump, I could reload. So I've basically enabled all the buttons I would need in order to play the game. 
and it works pretty well. Um, it's not a perfect solution, but it does get everything working the way it should, which is uh, the goal, and lets you use your Razer Kishi without any attachments, without any Bluetooth controllers, without anything, and it's free, I believe. Um, yeah, I, I believe it's free. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think I've paid anything for that, but yeah, it works fine, and um, it's pretty fun. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you have any other fixes, uh, let me know as well. If you have any questions, I'll see what I can do to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.